Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and today I want to encourage you to add more dynamics to your playing by just simply changing stick choice. Now, I'm not talking about your standard wooden stick. Now, obviously, we have many different options as far as these go, like maple, hickory, op different options in the tips and stuff like that. But I want to challenge you to experiment with dynamics using completely different kinds of sticks. Now, the first ones I want to talk about, they're actually called Promark Thunder Rods, and they're basically a bunch of small dowels all kind of bundled together. And I used to call these hot rods, but there are certain gigs I would play that literally I would not be able to play the gig if I didn't have these. Now, as you kind of saw in the intro, they provide a completely different sound on the drums. And, you know, it's not only necessarily a volume issue, like dynamics. I don't always want to um, say you have to use hot rods in order to play dynamically quieter because there's a lot of drummers um, who can play like ultra quiet using regular sticks. But these offer a different timbre. You know, when I hit the toms, they sound different um, than when I hit it with a regular stick. I'm just going to go between the high tom and show you how it sounds with the thunder rod and the wood stick. And in the same way, I want to show you guys how it sounds to go on the snare from just a regular wooden stick to a thunder rod, and you'll notice a difference in sound. And that's the case with you know, all the, the things we hit on the drums, the low toms, the cymbals, um, the hi-hats, and everything. These will give you a different sound out of your drums. You know? And so it's really important to experiment with them because you might encounter music that will require you to use these Promark Thunder Rods. And so it's really good to have a pair of them in your stick bag, just in case. I would have honestly, I'm not just saying this to try and get you to buy them, but I've, uh, I wouldn't have been able to play certain gigs if I didn't have them. Um, just because an artist I play with just really not only liked that they brought the drums down dynamically, but he liked the timbre that they offered and the sound that came out of the drums when they're played with thunder rods as opposed to just regular sticks. Okay, the next thing I want to show you guys are these Promark uh, broomsticks. Now, in the package, they came with this little write up, and it just kind of talks about who makes them and, and why they were actually made. And they're made. Um, the idea for broomsticks was born when Jack and his wife, blues singer Dee Fisk, participated in a Civil War reenactment. Through researching musical performance of the day, they found that bones or small bundles of broom straw were taken from an old broom were often used to keep the beat. All right, so to learn more about these, you go to hhbrooms.com. But these are distributed and made by Promark, handmade, and I just think they offer like such a cool sound on the drums. So let's go between the sticks the hot rods, and then the brooms, and we'll see how they all sound back to back. So a very different sound, very light, um, very I call it organic, but these would sound really good um, played if you're just playing with an acoustic guitar and a drum set and you don't even have a bass player, or if you want to use these on your hand drums, on a djembe or something like that. They just offer like a very, very different, very earthy uh, sound, and I absolutely love this kind of stuff because in the situations where um, you, know, you won't necessarily think you're going to need them, an artist will see that you have them and tell you to try them, and they'll absolutely love them. And if you have these, definitely going to help you out. Okay, then the third thing is um, these Promark Smacks. And these are definitely new to me, but they basically come in different um, tensions, like different hardness. So this is, these are considered the hardest ones, and so I'm sure the, the medium and the, the very, very easy ones will have more and more flex to them, okay? But these ones, again, offer a completely different sound. So let me show you guys how all four of these different sticks sound back to back.
Okay, so again, four different options. I hit the snare drum, same velocity, and I'm getting four completely different sounds. And you heard at the beginning, I ran through all these different stick types at the same tempo, just to try and give you guys an example of uh, what it sounds like you know, as we move from one to the other. And this is really gonna uh, help you add some more creativity to your playing, um, and, add, and it'll, you'll do some things that you never thought you'd be able to do, and get some sounds of the drum set that you never thought were even possible. And so, you know, the more different kind of sticks you can have in your, in your stick bag and stuff, and the more different options you can present to artists and bands, um, the more they're gonna love you, you know, when they're looking for that perfect groove, or that perfect feel, or that perfect feel. All right, so I hope this you know, inspired you to just you know, be creative, uh, be f feel free to experiment with different types of drumsticks, different types of sound on the drum set. You know, we are not limited to just these, this one type of sticks, okay? So I really encourage you to just go to your local music store and check out the different types of sticks they offer. I know you're absolutely gonna love trying this out. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.